Welcome everyone, today we have a special guide video for Lost Ark and in this video as you can see from our last video I was 1300 almost 70 and in this video I'm close to 1385 so what is happening is I want to give you guys a ton of tips and also advices to help you prepare for the massive jump between 1370 and also 1385 I could go even higher if I knew some of those tricks and also methods so the bigger focus of this video is about preparing for the lipstones, preparing for different resource of items, preparing for a lot of silver, preparing for different honor shards, and also preparing for everything you want to have a massive jump after you get to 1370. And you want to prepare those concepts, those ideas, and those tricks and methods before this, because it's very important you do this beforehand, so you get a massive boost of your item level and also progression after you reach 1370. And over here, as you guys can see, I have just reached 1385 using a lot of the method I will share with you guys. So it is very important to prepare this before 1370 to get a massive boost in progress into 1385, which will unlock a lot of features into the game, you know, next level of the Chaos Dungeon and also the next tier of the Aqua Strait, which will be the second stage. Now the best part about my preparing method is that this is free to play and this is so good and saves you so much money. And if you don't believe me, look at my gold. So remember last week I was on 400,000 gold, I made 50% profit, so I'm on 600,000 gold. I actually didn't spend much gold to get my gear to progress. And this only took me one to two days after I get to 1370. And also some of the tips after reaching 1370. But the major tips will be before reaching this level. And over here, what you're gonna see is I have prepared a number of list things that you need to be aware of before 1370. And there's a lot of things that can save you a lot of gold. So I really want to touch up on some very important things I discovered while I'm getting to 1370 for the tier 3 and also things to do after. Now what we'll do in this video is I'll briefly touch up on some of the most important factors and I'll use my video replays to explain those to you guys and then as we go further I'll talk about more tips and also more guides before 1370. What to do you know before that, what things you should be aware and also very big you want to save a lot of silver. So let's get into the summarizing of the list and then I'll go through some of the replays and then we'll keep going through this list. We'll have about 14 tips for this particular guide and I think those are very important. So coming over to a list of tips, one of the first tips I want to share with you guys is be careful with your Abyss Dungeon 1325 and also 1340 because once you actually clear those easy modes, you actually can't reach, you actually can't play the hard mode dungeons because this will take your weekly chances. I'll show you guys in this video guide very quickly and also be aware that your weekly Unas task will instantly update. And what I mean by that is, instead of getting on the lipstones, once you get to 1370, your Unas weekly task and also daily task will instantly give greater on the stones. And this means you actually get five times the value. So let's come over to the replays and let me just show you guys briefly some of those important tips I want to share with you guys. So after reaching 1370, what you're going to notice is instantly all of your daily and also weekly quests will be instantly updated into the higher tier. And instead of getting the honor lipstones, you'll be getting great honor lipstones. And we'll touch on this as well in one of my tips because this is going to be a major factor and you actually get five times the value. Notice all my dailies and all my, you know, all my weeklies are instantly updated into the Great Honor Lipstones and this will be a big factor. So the first, first thing I want to warn you guys is do not do your easy mode of the Chaos Dungeons. So what I mean by, uh, not the Chaos, the Abyss Dungeons. So before 1370, you can do the Chaos Dungeons, the 1325 and also the 1340 Chaos Dungeons. But if you have done those in the week, and once you hit 1370, you cannot do those anymore. So notice that I've done the easy ones before, and now I cannot do the hard ones, because you can only pick between the hard ones or the easy ones. You can't do both. I thought I could have done both, and that was not the case. And this means upon the week I reach 1370, I was actually unable to do my dungeons because I can't get my new gears, because I have to wait for entire week of the reset to do the hard mode, because I've done the easy mode. The loot we get from the easy mode is not a lot, but the loot we get from the hard mode, including the crafting materials for 1370 legendary gears, which is essential for gear progression into the next tier. So this is very important. Make sure you guys, if you think you're going to hit 1370, do not do the easy Abyss dungeons this week. 
and there's also other tips as well. So once you hit 1,370, you're qualifying for the chaos, not the chaos, the ghost ship. And you can only do this once a week. And guess what happened? Doing this once a week, you got to be careful. Don't join at a random timing, because there's not a lot of players if you join at a random timing. Look at this. This is a ghost ship, and I only found, you know, five or six people in this, and we can't do it because I joined at a random timing. So there's a lot of things you need to be aware before and after hitting, you know, 1370. So I want to, you know, highlight a few things with you guys, and we actually failed this ghost ship. And another important factor in terms of, you know, before 1370, I need to prepare for that. It's going to be a num the amount of silvers it's going to cost you. So at once I get to 1370, I was sitting on about 44.7 million gold and very quickly my gold diminished because it costs a lot of gold to transfer. It also costs a lot of gold to hone your gears. So over here you can see I have gotten two gears from the aggro rate. And just by homing my gears and failing multiple times, what you're going to see is my gold went from 4.7 million to 3.7 million in about a few clicks. And I only got one gear to plus seven and also one gear to plus nine. And I started with plus six by transferring them. Now I know I got carried away with the tips with the replays. So let's come back to tip number three. So one of the most important things I realized is I want to use as many as the untradeable lipstones I can as I'm upgrading to 1370. I know it's quite common, but once you get over that, you have to convert your your lipstones into greater lipstones with the with the honing exchange and this costs you five of the honor lipstones to greater lipstones so what most players do is they actually start to sell their tradable lipstones into the market and if they really need they can buy those back from the market with a four to one or less than four to one price with the greater honor lipstones and that's why those items are selling for so high of course you don't have to buy them you can just get them from dailies you can get them from weeklies but it is very important for us to not use too many of the tradable lipstones. Try to use as many untradeable as you can, because those were diminishing in value after you get to 1370. They will actually lose a lot of value. So the idea is you don't want to be sitting on too much of those whilst you're honing. You want to kind of plan so that you use all of the untradeable ones and you don't use too many of the tradable ones. But this depends on luck, of course. So coming over to the next tip, and I think it's very, very important of this tip. And this is about buying your great honor lipstones in the Mari Secret Shop now. You might not be 1370, but if you start to build the great honor lipstones, this can matter a lot. So what I mean by that is, as you go through the Mari Secret Shop, you're gonna see that purchases like the great the honor lipstones. I'll move my head a little bit. You can see the price. You can see the honor lipstones, and you'll be definitely buying those because they give the best value, right? But you also come across the great honor lipstones, and they give only five for 50 crystals. Now initially I was like, hey, that's I don't need that, that's not a great deal, why would I waste my crystals? But be aware guys, you buy as much of those as you can, because those are insanely valuable once you get to 1370. And notice I went back and bought all of them. What I wish was, I would have bought all of them the moment they appear in the shop, because they actually give insane value. This is 50 crystals for close to 5,000 gold worth of the great honor lipstones. And this is very important in building up the next progress of the game. Because as you progress into the next stage of the game, it is likely you need 2,000 great honor lipstones to get your gears to plus 20 again. And just for reference, it cost me 10 great honor lipstones to get armor from plus 8 to plus 9 each attempt, and I failed multiple times. So just, just be aware, you do want to buy as much of those in the Mario Secret Shop as the, the moment they appear, because this will save you a lot of crystals. Now, since we're talking about the Great Honor Lipstone, I also want to cover a little bit on the Destruction Stones and also Guardian Stones. So two of those items, what I do recommend is, I do recommend buying them a little earlier. So this is the tip I just added. I was like, hey, that's pretty important. Is that to actually buy your tier three materials during two of the important timings each week. One is after the weekly reset. As you guys can notice, usually after weekly reset, price would drop pretty massively. And this is how I got a lot of mine. You can see I got a lot of Guardian Stones. I'm also using a lot of Destruction Stones. So what I want to show you guys is we also have, you know, graphs which, which keep track of the pricing of items. You can see on the last weekly reset, the price of those items actually dropped pretty sharply. There was also the patch, patch notice that people got scared, right? So it was a panic sale. And they start to climb after during the week. And similarly, what I do want to show you guys is the Guardian Stones. Guardian Stones have been dropping and they're around about 30 gold now in my server. Yeah, they're around 29 gold now in my server. So the 
kind of the flooring is about 30 gold so they have been dropping steadily what you want to do is for those two stones two times you can buy them one is after weekly reset i usually stop up quite a bit one is about 30 to 6 minutes after each daily reset and players will do the chaos dungeons and start selling those items and i usually stock up a bit but don't stock up too much guys simply because that if you stock up too much and the price reduces again and there's chances that price keeps falling right like the guardian stone over here so you don't want to stock too much i think i stocked too much i was like buying trigger happy i spent about 40 50 000 gold back then to buy them i did lose some gold so don't be like me stocking too much but stock enough that it helps to get to 1385 so basically what i mean by that is notice that i'm slowly getting my gear there the plus eight plus ten and plus seven so i'm slowly getting my gear there but i did stock a little too much i think stocking up to close to five thousand of the storms or maybe ten thousand maximum don't be like me stocking up a little too much now the next tip about crystals is that you might want to look into crystal exchange when they are lower so what I mean by that is, if we come over to a graph of tracking the crystals, you can see that there are certain time of the day and crystal prices may be going lower. Notice at this moment, it went up to 730, but during my recording or during my writing up the notes, they were around 680 for 95 crystals. You want to stock up some of the crystals while they are cheap, because as the, you know, as the server changes, as the players preference of gold and crystal changes they might be looking at a rise so you don't want to buy them at a rise you want to buy them when they are at lower point in my server the lower point is about 680 or 660 if you can get lucky 700 is okay but sometimes they even raise to 900 so buying crystals when they're cheaper will greatly help you in the latest stage of the game because you know it always changes during the day and it could easily cost you 50 to 300 crystals a day once you get over to 1370 because there are a lot of things you can buy there's homing materials there's great honest lip stones and there's more homing materials and there's a lot of other things i'm even buying things for my tier 2 account so because of that you know some of those cost 150 crystals and some of those cost 50 crystals so very soon you realize you actually need a lot of crystals as you progress into the game so buy those while they're cheap now, one of the little trick I do with buying crystals with gold is that I go to buy crystals and I look at the crystal price and you can see people listing at different crystal price. Right? So instead of buying them right away, sometimes I list for a little... Sometimes I list them for a little lower and over here, oh, it just refreshed, I think. Oh, it refreshed to 682. So what I do is I was going to do 680. I can do 670 and I do usually do 10 stacks of those. And you can list those this way. And notice over here, if you actually get the price to fall to your point you actually save some gold now of course if it's low enough you don't have to be like that and you know this just went to 690 right so it, it is up to you this is optional i tend to list a little lower than the recommended price and if i get away with it i'm happy if i don't sometimes they do go up so this is just the thing i do that's why you see some of my listings were cancelled i usually list my gold for crystals for a little lower than the market price and try to get that slightly little bargain but this is very optional guys sometimes the price will rise so be careful with that now coming over to our next tip now if you guys remember one of my previous videos about you know getting 333 with your purple gears and getting your engravings i do want to apologize for that i'll talk about that very soon as we get into the next tier of the items and the next tip so one thing i do want to recommend is don't overly invest too much gold into your gears between 1340 to 1355 and even after that because the moment you get your legendary gears and also your new gears from the chaos dungeon and also new accessories those will be replaced of course, you can still sell them, but the cost of using Faeons to buy them and also the 5% fee is also pretty hefty. So don't overly invest. I think I invested about 10 to 20,000 gold into my gears back then. And now looking back, I don't think it's that worth it. I could have used those gears for homing materials or I could have just progressed into the game. Because unless you get to 1,370, you don't really need um, really strong gears because you can't do much of the dungeons most of the dungeons can be cleared at 1340 with the normal purple gears now in the replay clip you saw that it was insanely costly to spend silver to transfer the gears it costs about 120,000 to transfer each of my gears and also it costs like 25,000 to upgrade each of my gears so just for two gears to get one to plus seven one to plus nine it spent it cost me 1.5 million silver so I'm estimating to for the phase two of the aggros to get to 1385, which will be the next next phase, it will cost close to four to five million silver. Now if you guys are showing the silver, I'll be making my silver guide. 
we do have a silver guide but i really want to warn you guys to save your silver and to make as much silver as you can because as you get over to 1370 you will need so much silver and i'm also looking for ways to make more silver as we progress into the game because trust me this is gonna be a massive massive roadblock and if you're not aware of this you'll be in for a big shock now over here, as you guys can see, after getting a lot of gears, a lot of weapons, what you're going to notice is my Great Honor Stone is much, much lower. I'm actually running out of those. And you can see my silver. So I started with 4.7 million silver. I'm down to 2 million silver. And what's happening is I have been trying to push for 1385, which will unlock the next content and also more tiers of the Chaos Dungeon. But currently, what you're going to notice is you'll be running short on the great on the lipstone that's just, this is why i'm telling you guys to get as many as those as you can from the mario secret shop you'll be running a shot on the honor shot which is a surprise but yes you'll be running a shot on honor shot and finally you'll start to run shot on silver and i just want to make this update because as i progress into the game i want to give you guys warnings to prepare ahead of time for 1370 and once you prepare for 1370 what you're going to find is you're going to have a much easier time to jump right away into 1385 now one thing I also want to highlight with you guys is you will be running out of Honor Shard and this is something I realized as the latest stage I got. So notice Honor Shard is selling for really cheap. They're selling for about 60 gold at the lowest point. They're selling for about 70 gold right now. And what I notice is if you look into the exchange on the Mario Secret Shop, it is actually still slightly cheaper to buy from the Mario Secret Shop. I believe right now it's yeah, it's about 689 or about 700 you know, gold per crystals and those are the current prices and at the current price it is still slightly cheaper to buy the on the pouches i have actually buying them so notice it's 56 crystals for 10 of those so in return it is slightly cheaper than the marketplace and i actually started to buy them because i actually went back to buy all of them because you will actually be running out of on shots surprisingly enough look at my on shot i only have 2000 and each of the upgrades is costing me so much so just to show you guys over here, from level 8 to level 9 with one of the gear upgrades to get this to maximum experience, it cost me about 4,600. And this really stack up for all of the gears. And very soon by plus 8 or plus 9 or close to plus 10, you will find yourself to be short on honor shots. And this is one of the reasons I actually went back to the Mario Secret Shop and keep track and actually bought all the ones I actually didn't buy before. Now this is not a must do because simply it helps a little bit with progression but the bigger point is you want to buy the great honor stones those are massive massive savings and later if you do find yourself to be short on honor shot compare the prices in your marketplace and also compare the mario secret shop and if mario secret shop is indeed cheaper you can still come back and buy those like over here as you can see i'm also buying other stuff for my old characters too that's why you can see me buying a little more in the mario secret shop and i've been trading a lot of my gold into crystals as you can see over here so i'll be trading a lot of those now the next tip we also showed in the clips is about the ghost ship try to not rush the ghost ship and don't do it randomly at a random time interval because if you arrive early in the day when there's a lot of people make sure you arrive to the to the whirlpool to see there's a lot of people and if there's a lot of people you go in and if there's not a lot of people you do not go in blindly because once you go in you will take your claim of the week and you can't do it again and basically what this means is that you want to find a good timing at the start of the day or start of the reset middle of the day is not a good chance because sometimes there isn't a lot of people that reaches 1370 and you might want to save your ghost ship before that because let's say if you're planning to reach this gear level this week you might not want to do your 960 ghost ship you might want to save for the higher tier when you reach for this one now upon reaching 1370 you have the choices of doing two different dungeons one is going to be the Argos raid and the other one will be the abyss chaos dungeon which is going to be a four-man raid four-man dungeon and this one will be an eight-man raid so what i have noticed and what a lot of players are doing is they're crafting five armor sets with the agros so coming over to the crafting of the higher tier weapons you can see that the abyss dungeons will give you the aura the inframe and those will be the next legendary gears you can craft you can craft one set of those and you can also craft two sets from the aggro's rate so what's going to happen is if you look at the cost of crafting a weapon over here it costs 15 of those currencies right but if you look at the aggro's currency it will cost 20 of those currencies so and if you look at the 
crafting of the armor it costs 12 and over here the crafting of armor costs 10 so the armor difference and the weapon difference is only five of the currency but for aggros the armor difference and the weapon difference is actually eight of the currency so this is what I'm trying to say with the crafting of the aggro set. You actually want to craft using the aggro set for the armor because it's actually cheaper with the currencies over here. And you craft the cheaper version of the weapon over here with the aggro dungeon set. So this way, you're actually saving on some of your currencies to progress quicker into 1385. So coming over to my gears, you can see that two pieces of my gears is from the abyss rate from aggros. And also three pieces of my gears are from the Abyss Dungeon, so the Foreman Hard Mode for 1370. This is because crafting the weapon this way is much easier. And this also gets me progressing into five pieces upon the first week of you getting to 1370. And it's very important to get this much because with five pieces, if you get close to items to plus nine and plus 10, you can then get to 1385 without having the last piece. Sometimes it's very hard to get the last piece on your first week. And that's why you can see my last piece is still not acquired. Now, if you want to craft your weapons with the Agrus blood, so basically if you craft a weapon with the, what did they put, the Agrus blood over here, then it is much more costly because you cannot actually craft two pieces of the Agrus gear. So I think you'll be one piece short. So you'll be on four pieces of the gears compared to five pieces like here with a combination of selection of which one to craft. Now coming over to the next tip, what you're going to notice is once you get over to 1370, you're actually going to need a lot of homing materials, especially radar materials. This is because after you transfer your gears, your new legendary gear will be instantly plus 6. And to go from plus 6 to plus 7, it's going to be f about 60%. And then go from plus 7 to plus 8, you'll be 45%, then 30%, then 30%, and then 15%. So the rate goes extremely lower. And to get to 1385, which will be your next goal, you actually want to save some of the homing materials for the weapon and then save them for the armor. Because this will be uh, opening up a new content and it's quite important we try to get there. Now, be careful with the new homing rates because those new lower rates are very low. I am looking into a homing guide soon for us for the next tier of the aggros of the gears of the new gears, right? But just be careful. You might want to save up some rated up materials once you reach you know, the next tier and try to not waste too much of them beforehand. I know it, it's hard, right? You kind of want to get to 1370, but after that, you actually need a lot of retail materials. And that's why those things sell for so high in the market. So make sure you have as much of those as you can after that for a quicker progression. Now over here, I also have some general tips after reaching 1370. One is that we will be sweeping into gears. And I do want to apologize for one of my previous videos that I rushed into, you know, 333 with engravings for 15 for three of those engravings that I actually ignore the stats. It is very important for us to focus on stats first and then go for engravings. So for most of classes, people will be going for critical chance and also swiftness. And some class will go for specialization. Those are three of the top stats that you want to look for. And those are some of the stats you want to look into accessories to sell. And then people will focus on two of the engravings. So what I mean by over here is if you look at my stats, I went into crits and also swiftness and by switching into my gears. And basically you can see most of my gears have been changing into the legendary set of gears. And my engraving have went from 333 into 33. And I got some random ones just as I make do. And I even got a negative one. So notice I kept the core ones with me, but the rest of them, I'm actually going for the random ones because stat is so much more important. And also HP is important for the aggress rate and also for the new rates because you don't want to die, right? And finally, once you get to 1370, you do want to press check multiple things. The legendary tripods, the legendary ability stones, and also the legendary accessories. Just to show you guys over here, you can see I'm actually made a lot of gold recently. I'm going to make the gold guide video for you guys soon because I've been trading a lot and making lots of gold, right? So in auction house, you can see I'm registering some of my tripods and also gears for insanely amount of gold. I'm overselling them, but yes, they have a great potential to sell for a lot of gold. So make sure you price check them. And you can also see my sell history, even the blue ones, sometimes if you check correctly, they sell for 5,000 gold. I'm planning to make more videos on the auction house, but it's very important that the loots you get for aggros, you price check them. So what you do is you come over to the market, you select the tier, you select the grade, 
and then you select whatever you know let's say if i'm going for ability stones and if i wanted let's say the popular ones with my class is going to be not no, they don't have my hair it's going to be master's tenacity so master's tenacity and followed by let's say cursed or so just one of those in one of those ability stones the minimum price of selling them is like twenty thousand gold so make sure you price check those items and it's very important after getting there you don't sell those for cheap price check them it's okay to list them for a little higher but this is one of the ways to make a lot of gold after 1370. now hopefully you guys find those tips helpful because i did you know find that if i knew those tips before 1370 it'd be really good and i would have avoided a lot of mistakes and especially after 1370 we'll be discovering new tips and also new methods to make more currency you know as free to play and also to make more gold and also to do better homing right so what i'll do is in the future once we have more tips on this particular regards i will be updating this list and best of luck guys with homing to 1370 because this is where the the crazy chances begins we'll be making more homing guys as well for this particular tier so tips and also tricks to get you know plus 14 or plus plus 13 to plus 15 and this is going to be like a big focus i'll be making more guides to share you guys with more numbers more tips and also more tricks to help you to get to 1370 and hopefully you found those tips helpful because you do want to prepare what happens after now if you guys haven't subscribed to this youtube channel make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them, and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys. And let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.